Liquidated damages are a set amount of money stipulated in a contract as the amount of damages to be paid by a party following a breach of that contract. Such clauses are generally enforceable when they are neither unconscionable nor contrary to public policy. In the 2007 case Barry School v. Patch, the Court of Appeals of Maryland considered whether a party had a duty to mitigate its damages when the parties agreed to a liquidated damages clause in a contract. In 2004, Andrew and Pamela Patch enrolled their daughter in the Barry School, a private Montessori school in Silver Spring, Maryland. At the time, the cost of tuition was $14,490 per year. Additionally, the Patches entered into a re-enrollment agreement with the school. Under the agreement, the Patches were required to pay the school a $1,000 non-refundable deposit and the remaining tuition balance of $13,490 into installments. Further, the agreement required the Patches to notify the school in writing by May 31, 2004, if they intended to withdraw their daughter from the school. The Patches agreed that if they notified the school after that date, they would pay the remaining tuition balance of $13,490 pursuant to a liquidated damages clause. On July 14, 2004, 44 days after the deadline, the Patches faxed a withdrawal notice to the school's admission office and demanded a refund of their $1,000 deposit. The Patches also refused to pay the remaining tuition balance and enrolled their daughter in another school. Subsequently, the school sued the Patches for breach of contract in state district court, seeking payment of the remaining tuition balance of $13,490. In response, the Patches argued that the school breached its duty to mitigate damages and that the agreement was illegal and unenforceable. The Patches also filed a counterclaim, seeking return of their $1,000 deposit. Following a bench trial, the district court found that the liquidated damages clause in the agreement was legal and enforceable, but that the school failed to mitigate damages. As a result, the court denied the Patches counterclaim but entered judgment in their favor. The school appealed to the circuit court, which affirmed. The Court of Appeals of Maryland granted cert.